egregious that they can't work out their differences. Let, let's just present a hypothetical that there's a $15,000. Okay, we'll kind of cut the difference. We'll go, go a little bit higher than the $10,000, but less than the, the fifteen. just for a hypothetical. If there's a $15,000 lien and they're going through the adjudication process, they're disputing it, they're trying to work it out, they want to enter into an, a garnishment, I mean, there's a whole variety of things. Nothing happens to this employee. The only way that this bill, this bill affects an employee is if they say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not paying it. I'm not doing a garnishment. I disagree with it. I mean, they just absolutely, totally refuse. And from an amendment that was offered by Mr. Lynch last year, in which he said he would then support the bill, we extended that out another six months. So the smaller the amount, it seems to me, the more we have a problem on our hands if the person isn't able to work it out. They either made, make the case that they don't owe it, and again, they're not affected by the bill, or the, the number is so low so much lower than maybe the perception of, gosh, I got this $150,000 problem. I've got just a ten dollars or $12,000 problem. Of course they should be able to work. Of course they should be able to get on some sort of garnishment plan and make those payments uh, over the course of, I don't know, months or years. Will, will the gentleman yield? Those are the people that probably are problematic within that department of agency. And this allows, if there's financial hardship, I will in a moment. If there's financial hardship, if the secretary or the head of that agency wants to grant a, an exception for national security purposes, I mean, there are all sorts of outs. But the person who owes $12,000 is thumbing the nose at the taxpayer, continues to take dollars as income, refuses to comply with what was the conclusion of the IRS. They've gone through that six months. They've gone through adjudication. Yeah, they should be able to fire that employee because they are a problem. Will the gentleman